All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of Hearthstone's newest solo adventure, the Boomsday Project Puzzle Lab. Uh, we're taking on the last portion of Board Clear, and I'm actually really excited. Bo Board Clear has been a lot of fun. Let's do this. Let's take on the last challenge of Board Clear. Excellent. Help me clear out these stubborn minions. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Brawl versus Dr. Morgan. All right, once again, we're doing board clear where the goal is to clear the battlefield of all minions. That's the, everything on the opponent's side and everything on my side as well. Get to work. We have little time to waste. All right. Dr. Morgan's side of the board from left to right. We have... Work will no doubt be more complex. Will you manage? We have a 3-2 Bloodfin Raptor. We have the Booty Bay Bodyguard, a 5-4 with Taunt. We have the Lord of the Arena, a 6-5 with Taunt. We have a Squirming Tentacle, a 2-4 with Taunt. The Senjin Shieldmaster, a 3-5 with Taunt. And the River Crocolis, a 2-3 Beast. Our side of the battlefield, we have two Flying Machines. They are 1-4 mechs with Wind Fury. Wind Fury means they can attack twice each turn. You know, provided they survive the first attack, they'll be able to launch a second one. We have two copies of those. Uh, we are Shaman, and it looks like our hero ability has been used this turn, or is locked this turn, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, our hand from left to right, we have Lightning Bolt, deal 3 damage and overload 1, we're not worried about overload. Flame Tongue Totem, uh, a 0-3 Totem with adjacent minions have plus 2 attack. We have 2 copies of that. Then we have Reincarnate, destroy a minion and return to life with full health. Then rock by their weapon. Give a friendly character plus three attack this turn. Wild Pyromancer, after you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. And Wind Fury, give a minion Wind Fury. Okay. So one of the things I know we can abuse is the combination of... Actually, I don't think we can. I was going to say, we could have Flying Machine uses two attacks, provided it survives them. Provided it survives the two attacks, we could hit it re with Reincarnate and attack with it again. But I don't think we can because it doesn't have charge. It's going to count as us not controlling at the beginning of the turn. But what do we give Wind Fury then? Nothing else will be able to attack. What do we give Wind Fury? I don't know that Wind Fury... I don't know that two cases of Wind Fury aren't redundant. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's see. Is there? Oh, oh, I think I see something. I think I see something. There's no way to increase its health, though. We could play Wild Pyromancer. This work is vital. Oh, this one's messy. This one's messy already. There's so many different pieces. There's so many different pieces to this. Okay, we need to make these boys bigger. Uh, I have more attack power. I'm sorry. So let's start with a totem. Uh, these two aren't going to kill a single attack from a flying machine. So let's start here. And they can attack again. So I guess I hit the other one with this one. Do I hit the other one here? Yeah, let's try that. All right, and this one can attack again as well. Now, if I attack, eh, I don't think it matters too much. If I have this one attack here and this one attack here, then I start dropping Wild Pyromancer. I play Wild Pyromancer, I play a spell. That isn't reincarnate. Then I play reincarnate on Wild Pyromancer. I think I can wipe the board. Stay on target. Stay on target. 
Yeah, everything's at three or less. So if I play Wild Pyromancer. Oh, you got big boy. Okay. Uh, Wild Pyromancer. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't matter, right? I'm not attacking unless I want to give it to me. Yeah, let's let's make that. Let's let's not cancel ourselves out. Let's give that to me. Now I need to reincarnate Wild Pyromancer. Right. Right. Oh, that's one way I could do it. I can reincarnate Wild Pyromancer. I could lightning bolt this and attack that myself. There's plenty of ways to do this one. Okay, let's do what we know works. Let's do what we know works. If I hit this here, and now I can attack here. No sense of going too far. No sense of going too far. Board's clear. Oh boy. Oh boy, is this is this their leader? I can't stand all the breathing. Destroy them all. All right, left to right, we have the molten giant and 8 8 that costs one less for each damage your hero was taken. That doesn't matter here. Uh, Dr. Morgan has two of those, and in between the two Molten Giants, there's Golemag, a 20-20 that costs one less for each damage your hero is taking. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, our side of the board, we have the Tundra Rhino, a 2-5 beast that says your beasts have charge. So any beast that I play will be able to attack this turn. Uh, our board from left to right, we have the coin. We have Arcane Shot, deal two damage. We have Timberwolf, your other beast out plus one attack. I'm sorry, one one that says. Believe how many applicants thought we were talking shoes. Oh, remove the souls. I get it. A Timber Timberwolf beast is a one one beast that says your other beast have plus one attack. Then we have the Dire Wolf. Dire Wolf Alpha, a 2 2 beast that says adjacent minions have plus one attack. We have the scave uh, Scavenging Hyena, a 2 2 beast that says whenever a friendly beast dies, gain plus one and plus, pl I'm sorry, plus two plus one. Uh, kill command, deal three damage. If you control a beast, deal five instead. We have power shot, deal two damage to a minion and the minions next to it. And then we have unleash the hounds. For every, every enemy minion, summon a 1 1 hound with charge. Uh, as if it matters. Oh, I guess it might because of these two. The 1-1 one, one hounds are beasts. Okay, let's get to work here. This work is vital. I know I want the scavenging hyena first. I, I want to take advantage of everything having charge and dying as much as possible. I want the hyena up first. <laughs> uh, there's no way for the, us to increase... The number of minions on the opponent's side of the board. Oh, I'm sorry, we're Hunter. Our hero power is deal two damage to the enemy hero. Doesn't matter, and there's no cards in deck. I know there's no way to increase the amount of minions on Morgan's side of the board, so let's go ahead and play Unleash the Hounds. Um. So before I start throwing these away, we want them to be as strong as possible so they deal as much damage to them. Uh, I just don't know if I want Timberwolf or if I want the Dire Wolf Alpha. I don't know if I want the Timberwolf or the Dire Wolf Alpha. I guess... Because positioning matters with the Dire Wolf Alpha, let's start with the Timberwolf and play that all the way over here. My goal is to kill these three. So, I mean, I could play them right here. But it don't matter. Let's play the Timberwolf. Eh, we'll do it here. Like I said, it don't matter. All right, so let's get the work. Do I want to kill? Oh, I can't kill him. And then if I go here or here. I don't have anything like a oh this is important this is important and this is probably important too see i got four mana uh five with the coin five with the coin 
So I'm gonna need the wolf. I think I wanna do this one. I think I wanna do this one. He has charge. He's clearly gonna take out Golemag. So I think I want this one, right? Oh snap, I should have played this. I should have played this. We could have dealt more damage. Take it back. Take it all back. When okay. You do this for a living, they all start to look the same. Scavenging hyena. <laughs> Maxed out over there, so let's drop the hound or unleash the hounds rather. So I need both the wolf. I need both wolves. Uh, let's drop the wolf here. Uh, timber wolf here. And then dire wolf alpha. Let's put that here. Now I need to lead the attack with the hound closest to the dire wolf alpha because that has the most damage on it so if i go here then here uh let's save them oh, if i attack this same one i'm wasting one point of damage so instead let's put it here do i need you anymore I don't have any more minions I can play. I don't think I need you anymore. So I can have you attack here. And now they're even. They're even and in range for power shot. They're even in range for power shot and can die to power shot. This is 11. You, I need six more points to you. Oh, shoot. I need the coin, don't I? Yeah. A friendly beast. Okay. Power shots gonna be two here. Power shots gonna be two here. Those are dead. If both of you run up there, actually, that's what I need, isn't it? Two. So you're at fifteen. These two die. You're at eleven. And then they're gonna get he's gonna get bigger anyways. That's why I need in my life, isn't it? Other beasts. It'll be alright. Ooh, I, you have to be last, don't you? Ooh, I almost messed that up. I almost attacked with this one immediately. I would have lost charge on both of these. So he has to go now, right? Yeah. So this gets bigger. Now you have to go. And now you have to go. I almost went with the the rhino first. Board's clear. Oh Jesus. As you can see, these minions stubbornly cling to their souls. Oh Jesus. Okay, let's see. From left to right on Morgan's side, we have uh, a molten giant. It's an 8-8 elemental. It says cost one less for each damage your hero has taken. She has three of those. Now, in between each of those is one sea giant, uh, an 8-8 that costs one less for each other minion on the battlefield. What is this one? Hero is taken. Okay. So she has five 8-8s eight on her side of the board. Our side's empty, and our hero power is gone for the turn. Uh, our hand from left to right, we have backup plan. Destroy all friendly minions. What a backup plan that is. Battery pack, refresh all your mana crystals. We got two copies of that. We have flyer, fire, plume, harbinger. 1-1 uh, one, one battle cry. A uh, 1-1 one, one elemental that says battle cry reduce the cost of elementals in your hand by one. We have the mummering elemental. 1-1 one, one elemental that says battle cry. Your next battle cry this turn triggers twice. We have Zola the Gorgon, a 2-2 two -two that reads Battle Cry. Choose a friendly minion, add a, co a golden copy of it to your hand. Uh, we have Shadow Flame. Destroy a friendly minion and deal its attack damage to all enemy minions. 
We have Grumble World Shaker, a 7 7 elemental that reads Battle Cry, return your other minions to your hand. They cost one. And we have the Snow Fury Giant, an 8 8 that reads cost one less for each mana crystal you've overloaded this game. This is not. Efficiency is key. Make the most of what you have. All right, fine, fine. Okay, so we're going to want to abuse. I think we're going to want to abuse Zola the Gorgon, Grumble. And both of these elementals. It seems like I want to play these two first. Next battle cry triggers twice, but that costs four. That costs four to, to have this go off twice and make all my elementals twice as cheap. And really, well, I guess that's these two. That's the big boys, huh? But I won't be able to play them. I have to expend my battery packs. I have to expend them really early. What if I just go here, make everything cost one cheaper? So then this only costs three. And then I get a battle cry. I get a good battle cry. If we can manage to compress enough into a single vessel. Yeah, that's not half my mana. I like that. I like not spending half my mana. Let's do that. Alright, and then if I play this, my next battle cry goes off twice. Uh, Grumble? Return other minions. They cost one, but I won't be able to play them unless I refresh. And to be honest, I don't want to do that just yet. I'll, I think I want a friendly copy. Which one, though? Friendly co uh, uh, a copy, uh, a golden copy of this? Two golden copies because this is waiting for me. Two friendly copies of this makes these boys much cheaper. Let's do that. Okay, so I can only play one, but it's going to make things much cheaper, and then I can refresh my hand, right? Let's do that. All right, so I've got eight mana again. Uh, if I play the other one, if I play the other one, I can drop Grumble right after, right? Make everything come back. Uh, let's see. Return your other minions. Okay, so it's not going to blow up my hand. It'll fill my hand as much as it can. It's not going to waste a, uh, a minion. So if I play this now. And I drop Grumble for three. Everything else bounces back, and I can keep making stuff cheap again. I could probably even play, play What's-Her-Face again. Wait, do I? I don't want to play her immediately, do I? Oh, yeah, she's only going to make one copy. She'll make one copy of this clown. She'll make one copy of this clown? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it! I need to get to eight. I need, which means I need to be able to drop Snow Fury Giant and blow it up with this. I need to get there. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay, so do I make my other elementals cost one less again? Meaning all the ones I just bounced back are free? Yeah. Alright, so these three are free. Uh, playing this doesn't help me as much as you would think it does. Because I can't play anything. I have to refresh again. I'm trying to... Yo, let's play this one. And then my next battle cry goes off twice. What's my next battle cry? Do I refresh then? Next battle cry. Two elementals. Oh, that's going to make this cheaper. That's the goal. Make that cheaper. So if I play this now. And I drop this again. So this goes down to five. Yeah. So if I refresh now, if I refresh now, I can play this again for free. Then bring this to four, and then I can drop them. But I need a panic button, don't I? I need this to be even cheaper still. How would I get that cheaper still?
If I drop this now, this goes to four. Then I refresh. Play this. No. No. I play this again. Play this. this. Work is vital. Do I play Grumble? Again? I play this and then I play Grumble. Bounce those back. I'm going to mess up my hand. I know I am. I forgot I had this copy. I was expecting this one to bounce back and play it again. If I play this, it's going to bounce those back. Oh, my hand's perfectly full again. Okay. I thought I was going to mess up a card. All right. Now, if I want to play anything, I got to drop battery pack. Okay. So I can play. Not Zola. I can play. How many copies of this do I have? I have this one and those two. If I could play two of those. If I play one, the others are free. Then I can drop the giant. Use Shadow Flame and then the button, right? I can drop one. Play the other for free. Yes, and I have just enough. I could play this, drop Shadow Flame and kill his side or, or Morgan's side, and then drop the backup plan. Uh, just to be safe because I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, I should have did this. Whatever. Whatever. We're here now. They cost one. Yeah. I, it's too late for me to play Grumble again. We'll, we'll be okay. So if I drop this here, and now backup plan, destroy all the friendlies. Four clear. <laughs> world is that ah, the living and them. all right Morgan side of the board we have the blight nozzle crawler a 2-4 mech with death rattle summon a 1-1 one, one ooze with poisonous and rush and it has the lantern of power it's a it's a it's an enchantment from uh Rafam. it has plus 10 plus 10 so it's a plus 12 plus 14 mech with death rattle our side of the board, we have seven treants, uh, seven two two treants. The four on the end, the two on both sides can attack. Uh, no cards in our deck. We're druids. Our hero power is plus one attack this turn and plus one armor. Our hand from left to right, we have the lesser Jasper Stone. High quality souls. Do be careful. We have the lesser Jasper Stone. Deal two damage to a minion or uh, gain three armor to upgrade it. We have Floop's Glorious Gloop. Whenever a minion dies this turn, gain one mana crystal this turn only. Oh, I like that. That's clearly the first thing we play. <laughs> Next, we have Contamination. Give a minion poisonous. Uh, s hang on. Okay, never mind. Uh, Spirit Singer Umbra. Whenever you summon a minion, trigger its death rowl effect. We have Poison Seas. Destroy all minions and summon two two treants to replace them. Taking Abomination. Uh, five six with death rattle, deal five damage to your minions, and the mulch muncher, an eight eight with rush, and it costs one less for each friendly treant that died this game. Oh, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be insane. Is key. Make the most of what you have. Okay, so like I said, clearly, clearly I'm starting with the gloop. I'm clearly starting with Floop's glorious gloop, because I don't want my minions to die and me not get paid for it. Okay. Um. That's an annoying sound effect. It's throwing me off. All right, let's see. So if they die, if all four of these die, I'm going to get four mana. I'll be at 13, which is wild to me. That's wild to me. Uh, Rush. Rush. And, uh, Rush. What am I looking for? Rush. That's eight. 
and that's two to that so that's 10 so i really only need to find four points right so let's let's only attack with two oh shoot i thought i was gonna go to 11. oops oops Let me see something. Um, what am I looking at? If I play Spirit Sing Spirit Singer Umbra, and then I drop Taking Abomination while it's out. Umbra's gonna actually. Oh, it's not gonna kill the abomination, but Umbra's gonna die. And it clearly, clearly, that's what I'm supposed to do. You wouldn't believe how many applicants thought we were talking shoes. If I get rid of this, if I get rid of this right now, with this, this will die. And she's going to get the thing, the, the ooze. I don't think I want, actually. Destroy all minions. Yeah, let's make it so that this isn't, this doesn't require me to play this to get rid of it. Let's drop this. She, she still gets the ooze, and that's fine. But I don't have to attack with something so huge. Play this, and then this. Oh, I need to get this for free. Yeah, that's one way to do it. <laughs> that's one way to do it. It'll it'll wipe out my side of the board a little bit better. This will be the only thing left. I'll have one point. I'm with that. Yo, if I give this poisonous, it'll let me kill my own thing. I think that's what I need to do. The greatest is patience. I don't feel so good. Okay. So if I give this poisonous and it dies. Oh, shoot. That's only my side. This can rush. Let's see. This here. This can rush and die. But this still has to die. Hmm. How am I going to kill the abomination? I don't know how to kill the abomination. How am I going to kill the abomination? This work is vital. Two damage to a minion? If I attack this, this rushes there, and then we deal the, the Jasper Spellstone to this. That wipes out my side of the board and his side. Okay. I was say, I don't see how to, how to get rid of it. I got it. I got it now. Give this poisonous. Attack here. And roll with it. Yo, these puzzles are getting tough. These puzzles are getting tough. I'm having to I'm having to to incept things. Like what is it what does this game want me to do? What is it hiding? What is it what lie is it telling? Some amazing talent. Now swallow their souls. Yeah, I don't like your tone. <laughs> I don't like your tone. Okay. Uh Dr. Morgan has the full Reaper 4000. It is an ugly card. Uh it's a 6-9 mech that says also damages the minions next to whomever it attacks. So let's say this thing were to attack Brand Bronze Beard here, the 2-4. 
it would deal six to Bram, but it would also deal six to the two that are next to it. Not a fan. Uh, our side of the board, we have Sonya Shadow Dancer. After a friendly million dies, add a 1-1 one, one copy of it to your hand. It costs 1-1. One, one. I'm sorry, it costs 1. She's a 2-2. Two, two. Then we have Brad, Brand Bronzebeard, a 2-4 that reads your battle cries trigger twice. And then we have the Galvanized Golem, a 5-2 that reads your one attack minions cost one less. Our hand, from left to right, we have an Elven Archer, a 1-1 one, one that uh, has battle cry deal one damage. Normally it would cost one mana, but... The Galvanized Golem's helping out there. We have two copies of the Archer. We also have a Tentacle on the Zoth, a 1-1 that reads Death Rattle, deal one damage to all minions. Again, the Galvanized Golem is helping that to cost nothing instead of one. And then we have the Faceless Manipulator, a 3-3 that reads Battle Cry, choose a minion and become a copy of it. Okay. This looks like I want it to be on uh, the Faux Reaper. But it won't be able to attack when I play it. To compress enough into a single vessel. It won't be able to attack when I play it. So maybe instead. Maybe instead I put it on Sonya. Friendly minion dies at a 1 1 copy. Maybe instead. Well, oh. Yo, I can do that over and over, can I? Yeah, if I put this on Sonya, then I can just drop these almost endlessly. Do I want the archer to hit uh, the Faux Reaper? I think I do. Let's do that. Become a copy of Sonya. So now when a friendly minion dies, I get two 1-1 one, one copies of it to my hand. And they both cost one each. So let's hit. One shot, one Do, I, I wonder if they trigger each other. If I have two Sonyas in play and they both die at the same time, will they give me two new Sonyas? Let's find out. I, I really hope so. Wait. Do I want to kill or attack there or kill? I Oh, it's going to trigger twice, wouldn't it? What if instead I hit my archer? I get my, my new copy. And then because it costs one and it has one attack, it's going to be free. So I'm not even spending mana. Let's do that. We're not even spending mana. You couldn't even tell me I was spending mana. Okay. But I need to wipe the whole board, don't I? I need to wipe the whole board. So let's bring them all just a little bit closer to death, huh? Because this is going to die. This is going to die, and that's going to die once I drop another archer. Oh, and I'm going to get another archer. I'm going to get a total of four archers and two of these boys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So do I do do I keep doing that? I really think that's it. I think I just keep doing that over and over. I drop one of these, one hit shot. him. One. I drop a tentacle. If I drop a tentacle. Now do I hit this right now? If I hit this right now, it's going to deal one there. Yeah, I think I hit a tentacle. He's going to give me two copies of... Oh, shoot. It might give me two copies of too much stuff. No, this will die first. This, this tentacle will die first. The tentacle will die first, which means Sonya is going to go off. And put them in my hand. Then everything else will die. And then it will fill my hand with whatever. That doesn't matter. Then I drop the three tentacles and kill them again. Oh, this game is crazy. That dies first. So I get the copies. Then the death rattle goes off. No, they don't trigger each other. The Sonyas do not trigger each other. Confirmed. 
confirmed. That's okay. I don't even care. Take this, foe reaper. Take this, foe reaper. Good work. Did it. I hope you're documenting all of your findings. Future shredding. All right. Yo, board clear is crazy. Board clear is easily, easily the craziest of the wings so far. All right, we've cleared the fourth portion. I'm sorry. The, yeah, the fourth portion of the third wing board clear. It looks like there's a whole secret lab waiting for us. Okay, so before we move on to the secret lab, we're going to take on the last wing, survival. To be honest, I don't know what survival means. It sounds like the opponent's going to get a turn. We just need to live through it, maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. We'll find out when we get there. So, if you enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is... <coughs> excuse me. All you have to do is not die. All you have to do is hit the red button below this video. That's that. Subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel. Or whenever I do something special like Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project. Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out. And I'll catch you later with more. Here on Alt Play. Yo, Dr. Boom, Dr. Boom is on it.